evening. Uh, thank you, two people. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, stop. You're too kind. We got an extra special treat for you tonight, a little extra bang for your buck. So please put your hands together for a very funny man, Mr. Greg Coleman, ladies and gentlemen. Keep going for Robert. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up for Robert? All right, let me get out the way. Happy New Year. I'm glad you guys are here. No one died. Everybody made it to the show. It's, it's good. Resolutions. I made one resolution. Try to be better in 2014. I decided I'm done with texting and driving. Anybody with me on that? Uh, texting and driving? The rest of y'all murderers. I'm done, man. I'm done texting and driving because I say a lot of dumb shit when I'm drunk. So it's just like... <laughs> 2014 is gonna be different, Les! Misspell words! I don't know. It's cool, I don't know if you guys know this about comedians, but a lot of us, we like, like comic book characters and superheroes, because we feel like we can relate, you know? And I feel like I can relate to Wolverine, because Wolverine, he has those badass claws. I don't have claws, but I got a long pinky nail. I can scratch you if I get in the pinch. <laughs> But Wolverine, he also has regenerative healing. That means he can get hurt and he doesn't have to go see a doctor. He just heals himself. And I relate to that because I don't have health insurance. <laughs> it's definitely the same thing. I get hurt. I'm like, nah, I'm Wolverine. Wolverine. <sighs> no copay. <laughs> I am hella careful, man. Just Wolverine. That's just like I'm 30 years old. Um, I'm 30 and I, I don't have any kids and I think that's great. My mother thinks that's failure. I'm like, we need to meet in the middle. That's a miscommunication. <laughs> she wants a grandbaby so bad. And I'm thinking like, I think like maybe one day I'll, I'll give her one. Like, I think it would be cool to adopt. Like I would like to adopt a cute, tiny little 17 year old baby. Right? <laughs> Just say it with like a valid driver's license. No social life. So he can pick me up and I can start texting again. <laughs> Joking. I'm, don't get tight. People get tight when I say that. Like, yeah, adoption. Adoption's not funny. It's a joke. I'm not going to adopt a 17 year old baby, all right? I'm going to foster him first. I'm going to foster him first. Then I'm gonna sign the extended warranty and be like, hey, we're a family. <laughs> oh, that's just so much. Like, it's really, like I said, I'm 30 now, so I don't do things that I love. Like, I, lo I love rap music, I love hip hop, not as much as I used to. I actually have a tattoo on the side of my body that says hip hop. I got it 10 years ago and 30 pounds ago, so it made sense. So I'm 30 and I don't like rap as much, so I'm thinking about getting a tattoo on this side that says like smooth jazz, <laughs> talk radio, <laughs> NPR, maybe podcast, run it off. I really love thoughts! <laughs> uh, rappers, they're, they're weird. They're weird. Like, because they get. Ah, screw that. I don't want to talk about rappers. I like, uh, I'm trying to get healthier. I'm trying, I'm trying to get healthier, but my, my problem is, is like, I snack hard. Like, anybody else with that? Like, does anyone else like snack while you snack? Like, I find myself literally, I'm in front of the microwave na making nachos and I'm eating ice cream. Just like, I need it. You, you're right there. You're the fraternity. You're with me. And like, nachos, they only take 45 seconds to make, but I'm like, I need it now. I didn't even wait the whole 45 seconds. I was like, 42, that's good enough. <laughs> I, I, like I, I, li I, I live in um, this area, Kimwood, it's in Minneapolis. It's between downtown and uptown, so I love it. So I can go to the bars and like walk home and like not have to worry about like, you know, DUIs and stuff like that. <laughs> like, is it, all right, ladies, you guys have probably been in this situation when you're walking down the street and it's just you and one other person. Say it's a guy and he looks like this. <laughs> like, that's a freaky situation for you, I understand. Cause a lot of times I'm the guy who looks like this. <laughs> Cause we can feel the energy. And in my head, I'm like, oh, I probably 
apologize for what I'm about to put this lady through for the next 30 seconds. <laughs> it's bad, so like what, what I like to do now, like I like to make eye contact with the lady, right? I make the eye contact and then I'll cross the street. I'll say, no, you're not robbing me, lady. Not tonight. Ain't getting any of my goodies. <laughs> and you're sincere, because she's I wasn't going to rob you. Like, I wasn't going to rob you either, but I saw the look on your face. Now you're the creep. <laughs> So I love it. Because that's better than what I used to do. I used to see it and I'd be like, all right, eye contact. Now I'm put my hands up so she can see and she'll feel safe. And then I'll talk loudly so she knows. I'll be like, hi, lady. Just walking home. Don't want to hurt anybody. And I got maced. I got maced a lot. So I stopped doing that stuff. I was like, nah, nah you the creep. Thank you guys very much, man. My name is Greg Holmes. Greg Coleman, everybody, one more time. Because you guys are such a